I am not the danger. I am in danger. This sentence, as not pronounced by Eisenberg, first of all, has been, has been pronounced by one of the many thousands of Syrian refugees, and it perfectly describes the situation of emergency they are living in. Although the decisional power is in the hands of government, we still can do something. But what, really? This is not a simple matter. But I like science metaphors, and I think that looking at science and examples from nature and evolution, we can find many explanations of our societies. Because nature is not simple. Nature relies on complexity. And complexity happens every time the many factors interact, compete and find a balance between each other, promoting variability and adaptation, and these are the two sources of the evolution. Plant leaves, I think, they are a good example of the evolutionary struggle, because in natural history, they change their shape many times according to different environment. Although there is great variability in shape, we can still classify them in two groups, simple as the spinach leaves with an entire leaf lamina, or compound as the cardamine wild type leaves. This variability in shape has been always achieved by nature acting on genes. And one gene, RCO, acronym for reduced complexity, is expressed at the base of the leaflet, this separated structure of the compound leaves. And acting as a growth repressor allows the separation of these structures. When its function is lost or mutated, we have the phenotype of RCO mutant, a simple leaf. Because in this case, the tissue over here overgrows and fills the gap between the leaflets, having a simple leaf shape as the spinach. But I want to show you also an example of something that didn't change and turned out really, really bad. In Italy, we had Berlusconi growing, acting as a growth repressor at the base of the country and promoting just the growth of his businesses and producing a very poor foreign policy. But recently, something changed, but badly, because Renzi, yeah, don't laugh, it's not so funny in the end. But uh, <laughs> Renzi used the same strategy of Berlusconi, and, poor, and the, it didn't change any way the poor foreign policy. Italy did not learn the lesson from evolution and from nature. Because nature, when it feels that it's time to change, it does, using variability. And this is the important message that we have to, uh, the message that we have to take home. That's important not only for our political background, but also for our environment. We need to preserve biodiversity, keeping variability in our daily lives, in the constant search for new energetic resources, in the search for new agricultural methods, and most of all, in our social interactions. We don't have to, afraid, to be afraid about barriers. In other words, we have to be as leaves, making the right steps to be in the right shape and avoiding the embarrassing forms. Thank you.